individuals, welcome back to part four of our how to make a spider from tape, glue, and paper. <laughs> Couldn't think, I had a brain fart. Or an Emily moment, as some people like to call it. Now, in the last video we left off, we had just painted our, um, our raffia. Now, I mean, it's not perfectly painted. I cleaned up my hands. Look at that. I got all that paint off. Mm -hmm. Got pretty. Anyway, we had painted up our raffia, and I was going to try and see if I could make some details on this spider, like leg hair and uh, little mouth hair and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, strip this up, and I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to glue it on and see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'm going to rip it off and redo it. But this is just for video purposes. And no, no, yeah. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it in the smaller pieces. This is pretty long. You'll probably get quite a bit out of this. Sorry I'm off camera. So I used to work it up close and I want to get as much out of this as I can. This is a slightly larger piece. As you can see right here, you see I'm stripping this up. And this will be the quote unquote hair or the spider. I about said dog guys. I've got doggy on the brain. Okay. We'll work with this for the moment. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this in smaller pieces. And I'm just going to chop. I may cut this into even smaller pieces. You never know. I'm going to put this stuff in, and I don't think I've had anything in my bowls. So I guess I'm just working from there. Alright, now what we're going to start on is I'm going to start with the head right here. And I'm going to be gluing on what looks like the hair on the little, little toothy things. So, we're going to pick from this grass looking stuff, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm not sure how to start this, so I'm going to start it how I can. Let's see, let's use this to prop this up, that way I can see what I'm doing. Let's see if we can zoom in for you. Oh, I think we're as close as we can get. There you go. Now you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so as I said, we're going to be taking this and we're going to glue it here on the front where its little, where its little mouth is. If it don't fall. Alright, so... We're going to take our Sure Bonder glue gun here. By the way, I got a new one for my birthday. <laughs> Look at that. It's all brand new, all pretty, but I still got the other one. I'm going to be using it too.
be a tedious thing. I wish I knew how to do a speed up. I don't know how to do that. I'm not very good with editing videos. I don't know how. So I just leave them alone. You might catch my bloopers. to that. Let me get me a pokey thing. A pokey solution here. And press that down into the glue. I'll show you what we've done when I get done with this side. They're strong.
Sorry, I'm so quiet, guys. Maybe I'm putting you to sleep. It's one of those times I forgot. <clears throat> Now, this is what we have done. Let me raise that up for you. Hang on a minute. Use my mouse to zoom me out. Okay, so this is the mouth of the spider. And we're going to be trimming that down a little bit to make it look more uniform. This is the, the mouth there. So that's what we're doing. It's the inside of the spider's mouth. Alright, now we're going to be working on the opposite side. We're going to turn Mr. Spider around. So we're going to be going on some hair back there. Eh, it would help if it didn't stick to my fingers. Your bonder's glue dries very quickly. You don't, you don't hardly have any time to to work before it dries on you. This glue on my fingers being a little persnickety. 
Oh, got my stick tummy. So we're just going to continue to put these little strips on our spider.
here's how it's starting to look. We got hair on the back of that spider and it's got a lot of feels to it. top part uh, for right now and then off camera I will be doing the sides and the back here and uh, we'll be I'll be doing the legs offline that way you all can't don't don't have to sit here and watch me do the same process over and over and over again and then in the next video we will finish it up I think you never know with me. I've got to turn this around. this is what we have so far we have our little bit on our back of the spider and then we have our I sound funny when I talk with that thing in my mouth and then we have our mouth which I'm going to trim down a little bit and angle it up and make it look better but yeah that is going to be our spider and then on the next video we'll be making our eyes and just finishing up the final touches
Okay, we are out of the big stuff. So I'm going to have to cut some old. This sure is all not going to get by. Bit I can use, so I'm going to strip some more up. This spider, that the person that I'm making this spider for, I also helped with her wedding on a three-week time span. We, I helped pull together a whole wedding, and it was awesome. And we are throwing this Halloween party, and I'm trying to get all the decorations and stuff from my house to her house, and it's just been a, it's been kind of, kind of cool to be able to make up some Halloween stuff. Not much, but it'll it'll go. <laughs> that that mixed color on that actually looks pretty darn cool. Look at that! It almost looks like a spider's back when you can pet it. Yeah, like I said, this is a notch. This little stack would not go very far. Gotta make a few more. That'll be enough to get across here.
right. We have the first the first run of hair down the spider's back. I've still got more to do to do uh, to glue on, but I just wanted to show you guys how well this actually works. I've actually done this before. I just wanted to show you. Oh. How well this works. And so I am going to stop it right here because it's monotonous. I'm pretty sure you all know how to glue this stuff down by now. Uh, I'm going to be working on offline. I'm going to be working on putting the hair here. I've got some things to put here. And I'm going to be putting it sporadically on the legs of the spider. And we're, I'm going to be filling up the back side here and around the sides maybe leaving small spots bare but that is our hair on the spider and I will be back in part four and we will be finishing up our spider in part four I think don't 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 point don't get don't don't catch me on that okay now don't 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 put tabs on me on y'all know me I'll probably think of something and continue it. But anyway, this is how you put on spider hair. And let me get you up close and see how gnarly that looks. Yeah. Almost looks like porcupine quills. But that's the hair on the back of the spider. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to end it here, and I will see you guys on our next video. Spider says bye.